Hello and welcome to another CF Power Scripts tutorial with me, Christian Rauchenwald. Now in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can add Facebook conversion tracking to your funnels in ClickFunnels using our Facebook conversion tracking Power Script. As always, in order to get started, you will need to log into your CF Power Scripts account. And once you're there from the dashboard, just head to the Power Script section. Now the conversion tracking for Facebook is something that you want to do in a specific funnel. So you do not want to add the script globally to your entire account, but you actually want to pick the funnel where you plan to track your conversions in. And I'm going to pick my demo funnel here. And as you can see, I already have a bunch of power scripts set up for this funnel specifically, as well as for each of the funnel steps. Now you will also need two of those scripts in order for the conversion tracking to work properly. And the first one is the obvious one, the Facebook pixel power script that provides the basic Facebook pixel integration. And in addition to that, you will need the conversion tracking add on set up on the funnel, plus additionally also on each of the order form and up and down sell funnel steps within your funnel. Now when you have that in place, so again, the Facebook pixel power script and the conversion tracking add on, you can just go ahead and click on add new, search for Facebook, select the Facebook conversion tracking power script and simply set your track location. Now in 99.9% .9 of cases, you wanna set this to next step and I'm gonna explain the difference in a second. For now, I'm gonna select next step as well and just click on add script to finish the setup. With the Facebook conversion tracking set to next step, each transaction is reported on the next funnel step. So when a user buys something on your order form, the transaction will be reported on the next upsell page or if you don't have an upsell on the order confirmation page. So in a funnel that contains not only an order form but also up and down sells, the purchase from the order form will be reported on the upsell page that follows. If the user then were to buy the upsell, he would go to the order confirmation page where the purchase of that upsell would be reported. If he declines the upsell, he goes to the downsell page and if he buys that downsell, the purchase of the downsell would also be reported on the order confirmation page. So each transaction, so every time the user's payment method gets charged is reported separately. And that's especially important when you also set up the Facebook's conversions API because there the events have to match. However, if for some reason you decide to only choose the pixel based tracking without also setting up our Facebook conversion API, then you could technically say that you wanna track everything on the order confirmation page and therefore whatever the user buys on the order form and if he or she also buys the OTOs or one or more of the OTOs would then be tracked together on the order confirmation page, which however also leaves you with the downside in quotes that if the user for some reason buys something on the order form and then closes your upsell page so he never reaches the order confirmation page, you would have no tracking at all. Not to mention that if you set it up like this, you are unable to use the Facebook's conversion API, which means that when the user uses an ad blocker or is on iOS 14, you also wouldn't have tracking results. So as mentioned in almost 100% of cases, you wanna set the tracking location for the Facebook conversion tracking power script to track on the next step and not the order confirmation page. Now the last thing left to do with the Facebook conversion tracking power script in place is actually to test if everything is working as expected. For that, I'm gonna click on the icon next to the order form and copy our order form live funnel URL. I'm gonna to head to the Facebook's events manager and there when you're within data sources, you can select your pixel, go to test events and just paste the URL of your order form. Then click on open website, which will open that order form for you. Now in the events manager, you should already start to see eventually the page view and the view content event if you've enabled it in the Facebook pixel power script settings. And with that, we can actually continue here. Now, as you can see, besides the country, everything in this order form is already filled in. I'm not sure if we have an additional event configured here for data input, let's check. Yes, so we also have our Facebook custom events power script active here that triggers the initiate checkout once the user starts typing in the form. Additionally, we can select our country now here. I'm gonna go with UK and just click on go to step number two. Potentially, we also have the Facebook lead tracking set up as we can see in the pixel helper and also in the events manager. So the lead event now triggered because the user finished step one of the two-step order form. And with that, we are on the actual order form. Where I'm going to pick our main product here, a $97 one-time purchase. I'm gonna copy the test credit card data here and put it into the Stripe field and enter some future expiration date and CVC. And we're gonna select all our four order bumps here. 
And as we can see in the order summary, that's two one-time purchases for $97 and $47, a subscription and a payment plan for $7 each and a $7 subscription with a free trial. Now the last thing left to do is to click on complete order and with that we can then go to the Facebook's events manager again and basically wait for the order form to submit the order to then trigger the purchase, subscribe and in this case start trial event as well. And there we go. So the last thing we had was the lead event reported from the order form. And now we have the page free event from the upsell page followed by the view content event. And in addition to that, we have the purchase event which tracks the value of our two one-time purchases. We have the subscribe event which tracks the two $7 subscriptions and also provides Facebook with the estimated or predicted lifetime value that we expect to make from those subscription. And last but not least, we have the start trial event for our $7 subscription with a free trial, which also includes the predicted lifetime value. Now, if we go back to the OTO page and here we click on the buy button, although I wanna point out that that is not a $95 product, I just failed to update the text on the button. It's actually a $397 one-time purchase. So when I click on this button here and we can again go to the events manager and wait for it to update, we can again eventually see that we have the page view and view content event of the order confirmation page and also the purchase event of our $397 upsell. Now in addition to the value and the currency and the information that we track with all our events as we can see here for the page free event, so I said the funnel ID, step ID, page ID, the page type, the funnel name, step name and the page name. For purchase events we also provide parameters for the product ID, the product name and additionally a parameter that's called is OTO that either has the value yes or no which indicates if the purchase was an OTO product or your regular order form products. Now if we for example go down to our purchase event from the order form we can also see here that if you buy multiple products so like in this case two one-time purchases got tracked with this one event then both product names can be found here and both product IDs as well. All that additional data gives you the option to create something called custom conversions within Facebook, which is something I talk more about in the tutorial for the Facebook Pixel Power Script, which allows you to improve your ad reporting because technically you could add additional columns to your Facebook Ads Manager that not only show you the total amount of purchases and the total revenue that you made, but it also show you, for example, how many of those purchases were specifically upsells and how many were not, how much money did you make with your upsells and how much did you make with your regular order forms. Or if you want to go even further, you could, based on the product ID, create your custom conversions and then in your Ads Manager show specifically how often each specific product got bought. So you could then have a column for product A, order bump A, order bump B, OTO1, OTO2 and so on to get deeper insights into which of your ads and campaigns actually bring you not only the most revenue but also get people to buy more of your value ladder. That's it. That's how easy it is to set up Facebook conversion tracking thanks to CF Power Scripts. As mentioned, the important part is that you also have the requirements in place. So the Facebook Pixel Power Script and the conversion tracking add-on Power Script. And obviously, in addition to that, you also might want to add the Facebook conversion API Power Script so that you also track the event server side so that even when the user uses an ad blocker or is on iOS 14, you still receive the data in Facebook. As always, if you have any questions whatsoever, you can always press the support button that you find in the bottom right corner on each page within CF Power Scripts and reach out to us. Or if you're watching this video on YouTube, you can just leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching and even more so thanks for using CF Power Script. See you in one of our other tutorials. Till then, bye bye.